Uh, any, any other song, all the songs on this tape, anybody can do anytime they want to, starting now. But um, this one, this next song here called Talking Plane Disaster is a, sort of a special song for me, and I need it. And I might, I hope to use it to make a record in uh, New York when I get back. So I wish nobody would do, do this song at least for about a month and a half or two months from now. And uh, this is, what, what's the date, today's date? Uh, 5th of April. 5th of April, you know, about a month and a half or so. I'll wait for it. This is a real crowd pleaser. Talking Plane Disaster. I just wrote this when I got in Fort Lauderdale. I, I took a plane down to Miami, and uh, I'm deathly afraid of planes, I discovered. <laughs> jet plane so here's a my recount of the trip a little exaggerated but it captures the basic image of them all well once I heard some people say if you got to travel there's just one way you got to leave the ground you got to fly through the air you got to find a pilot and pay your fare you got to sail through the sky in an automatic bird Yes, yeah, statistics show it's the way to go. It's safer than your car, you know. Well, it's safer than your home. It's safer than your street. It's safer than anywhere you put your feet. Statistics don't lie. But statistics don't die either. Well, once I heard a feller say, you gotta take a train, it's the only way. Well, accidents don't happen to trains at all. There was just one accident he could recall. A plane crash into it. People flying in all directions. Well, one day when the sky was blue, I boarded a plane and off we flew. I tightened my seatbelt, gritted my teeth. I was strapped so tight I could hardly breathe. My lungs was gasping for air. My eardrums was gasping for a depressurizer. Then one of them stewardesses ambled by, and suddenly I wasn't afraid to die. She brought me coffee, pillows, and tea, said we're as safe as we could be. Said there's nothing to worry about. Then she flew out the door, somebody forgot to close right. Then the plane dropped down a mile or two. She lurched about, I swore I was through. She was twisting and turning like a dog in heat. I was strapped so tight I could hardly No, she, she was twisting and she was twisting and turning like a dog in heat. I was searching for a Bible beneath my seat. Pilot said we hit an air pocket. Must have been a pocket with a mighty big hole in it. Um. Well, at last the trip was near the end. The airport was coming round the bend. But all my unfortunate eyes could see was a thousand planes in the vicinity. They was landing and leaving and waving at each other, wing to wing and brother to brother. The pilot was swearing and swerving around, but he said, don't worry, we got radar on the ground. I wasn't worried. I was crawling up the aisle, screaming, Jesus save. Well, the trip didn't do me too much harm, but I did spend a year on the happy farm. Well, they couldn't understand why I kissed the ground, chewed the concrete, swallowed it down. Sure tasted good, like safe ground should.